Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing some time traveling. We're going to be jumping back a few decades into the past to a time where the majestic Atari 2600 was once in its prime. I am the Kerplunk, and I'm going to be your time traveling guide. Today's game is Activision's 1982 release, Spider Fighter. Now, Spider Fighter may look like your Space Invader clone. And you're kind of half right there. But instead of protecting Earth from invading aliens, you're now protecting your orchard from waves of egg-laying spiders that are trying to steal your fruit. Now, I know it sounds kind of weird. I know, I know. But stay with me here. It does have some different mechanics than Space Invaders does, and it makes the game a whole lot more fun. Now, first off, there are four waves per level. Each spider is going to run around and then drop a bunch more enemies for you to kill. Beat them without getting hit, and you get a 500 point bonus. You start off each level with 4 lives. That's your max, 4 lives. If you get hit, you lose a life. If you beat a level, you gain a life. It's pretty sweet, pretty easy to go, especially if you get one where you lose a couple of lives, but you beat it, you'll at least get another man back. As the levels progress, the spiders do get quicker, they start stealing your fruit quicker, but don't worry about this, because if everything else speeds up, you start to speed up, and on top of that, your fire rate starts getting a whole lot more crazier. That really, really helps, especially with some of those waves, they do tend to get a little bit more tricky. So through the years, I've gone back to this title time and time again. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've had relatives and friends who have come over have a lot of fun with this game. Actually, growing up, this was my little sister's favorite game for the Atari 2600. Now, back in about grade 3 or grade 4, I think I picked this game up for like a quarter at a garage sale. Oh, I wish I could still find finds like that. That was so sweet. Anyways, if you have an Atari 2600 and you actually have this game in your collection, I would strongly suggest dusting it off and getting some game time out of it. You will not be disappointed. So how about you guys? Have you ever owned an Atari 2600? What's your favorite game on the console? Why don't you drop me a comment down below, and that way I can see what you guys like. Also don't forget to like my video, and also subscribe to my channel. Show a fellow gamer some love. And until next time guys, have a good one, and keep gaming.